Look, it's 6.46 p.m. I'm still in the office right now. In order to become more successful, it's important to be well-rounded. And one of the fastest ways to become more valuable to yourself and the environment around you is to better understand business and keep up to date with current events. I'm not one to follow the news too in depth, but I do like to follow relevant business news tech stories so that I can use that information to my advantage, whether it be investing in the marketplace or to be more compelling in a conversation I'm having with a prospect or you. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about three relevant stories that caught my eye that I found interesting. The Peloton layoffs, a Silicon Valley legend leaving the Meta Facebook board, and then finally the Amazon pay increases. I think I'm gonna title this video Honest News because I have nothing to sell you, no political leaning. I'm just gonna talk about the stories that I find interesting so that hopefully you come away from this video with more value. The Peloton story is a big deal because over 2,800 employees are losing their jobs, which is, you hate to see it. And if you're on LinkedIn, you see these posts from recruiters saying, if you were a part of the mass layoffs, reach out to me, talk to me, I'd be happy to help. And I think the sympathy is important, but I don't think any of us could really imagine what those employees are actually going through unless you are on the receiving end of that termination. The reason that this is important is Peloton, one, has a good brand image. Their bikes are very desirable. They make at-home workout equipment. And what I think is the story below the story is that they were a COVID-related darling, meaning at-home lockouts, uh, lockdowns. A lot of people were working from home. No one was really leaving. So they wanted to bring the gyms to them. So they said, let's buy Peloton bikes. So demand significantly went up for these bikes. So when Peloton was saying, okay, forecasting, how many bikes are we gonna sell in 2022? They grossly overestimated the demand. So they have an excess of supply. So they have a lot of inventory. So they told their investors in their recent earnings call, hey, we're, we're gonna stop producing bikes because we have a surplus of bikes, which is not good because that shows um, slowed growth. Um, so Peloton's looking at their situation saying, okay, our stock price just got absolutely depleted. Um, what do we do? Their founder CEO is stepping down, which is a big deal, um, but he is cashed out, so I'm sure he's on to the next thing or whatever he's doing. And the way I see Peloton is they're cutting the employee headcount by 20% so that they can become more profitable. And they appear to be a very lucrative um, acquisition target, such as a Nike, maybe a Netflix, because Peloton has these bikes, they have subscriptions, they have a premium piece of equipment that is in the homes of many of their users, and a company like a Netflix could come in and maybe integrate the Netflix interface with that screen on the Peloton to further drive whatever they're trying to create from a value standpoint. It's always sad when you see mass layoffs, but guys, we gotta recognize that this is a pattern, this is nothing new. LinkedIn laid off a bunch of employees. Uber laid off a bunch of employees. I even made a video talking about the better.com CEO when he fired a bunch of employees, over 900 on a Zoom meeting. This is nothing new. Companies that have these big growth targets add a lot of employees and then they realize, wow, we have a lot of overhead, a lot of employees that aren't as productive as we need them to be. We need to be more profitable, so we need to get rid of employees. So that's why it's important for you as the frontline employee, one, to be more valuable to the company. And I know some of you may be thinking, well, Trent, that's not empathetic at all. How can you tell an employee that was just fired to be more valuable? What I mean by being more valuable is your work directly contributing to the bottom line. So profitability. So either creating more revenue in sales or creating the products or services that you are selling to your customers, a coder, developer, engineers. Those are the roles that are most important. So if you're not in a performance-based role, you need to evaluate what are you doing and how can you become more valuable. And then secondly, create a side hustle. That's why I make YouTube videos so that I can provide value, I can help people so that I have a secondary income. So in the case that I were to lose my job, um, at least I would have something to fall back on. And also from a personal brand standpoint, it wouldn't be too hard to find another opportunity because I'm creating something for myself. Build your own infrastructure. If you are still watching, thank you so much. Your support means everything to myself and the channel's success. Bonus behind the scenes footage. I was in the process of editing the video as we speak and the clips I recorded did not save. 
I made a mistake and dropped the camera the other day, so part of it's broken. I can't see if anything's recording. I don't know what it's necessarily focused on. So I'm trying to work around it, so thank you for the patience. I'm gonna to continue to do the absolute best I can until I get a new camera. If you'd like to support the channel, hit the like button below, comment anything as well for the algorithm. It really helps. So, Peter Thiel leaves the Facebook meta board. The reason that this is a big deal is I saw this article across multiple channels. So who is Peter Thiel? Peter Thiel is a legend in Silicon Valley. He is a prolific investor, entrepreneur, founder, tech mobile. He co-founded PayPal, multi-billion dollar company. He co-founded Palantir, multi-billion dollar enterprise software company. He invested $500,000 in thefacebook.com, that's what the domain was, in 2004. And he's been on the board for quite some time. Mark Zuckerberg's personal advisor, really influential guy. So he recently left the board, and anytime a notable guy like that makes a big move, it's noteworthy. And I think, first and foremost, we have to acknowledge he exited a recent stake. He invested $500,000. He just exited and sold shares worth over $650 million. So brilliant investment on his part. We have to give him his props. He left the board because he did not want to be a distraction because he wants to spend his time and energy um, helping the Republicans in the upcoming midterms. And if we think about Facebook Meta, super progressive, super liberal company, and they probably did not want to associate with someone like that. As they look a layer deeper into the story, my thoughts are, Maybe he just recognized, hey, we had a good run, I wanna focus on something else, which makes sense as well. But maybe he also says, I don't believe in the direction of Facebook, the whole metaverse, augmented virtual reality. Maybe he fundamentally had such a disagreement about that strategy, even the name change. He was so against it that he wanted to leave the board and said, if you guys change the name, I will leave. And funny enough, Facebook actually achieved a big milestone recently. They had the biggest single day drop in stock market history, about 20, 25% of the market cap, diminishing $250 billion worth of value. Think about that. A unicorn company is a big deal. It's a private company valued in excess of $1 billion. That is 250 unicorn companies, a value completely taken away. So. That's a monumental change, um, but ultimately Peter Thiel left. The takeaway from this, if you don't know who he is, look into him. He wrote a book called Zero to One. It's on my mantle. One of my favorite books on entrepreneurship and overall just how to think more effectively. So really fascinating guy. Amazon increases pay. This should be really exciting to you, especially if you're someone on the marketplace, because I would contend that right now is the best job market in history. If you're not happy where you're working, you can certainly go find a great opportunity. Virtually everyone is hiring. So look, with Amazon, they're the second largest private employer in the US. I believe they employ over a million employees, which is crazy to say, massive number. They recently increased their maximum salary of white collar employees to $365,000. To me, that seemed a little low. I expected the word to say minimum salary opposed to maximum salary because I'd have to imagine there's executives making significantly more than $365,000 from a base salary standpoint. They also offer equity compensation, so stock grants. So based on performance, being at the company for XYZ amount of time, you are awarded stocks in the company, which also can be extremely, extremely valuable. Over 50 Amazon VPs left in the past year, so they are feeling the war for talent as much as anyone, and they are raising pay, hopefully as an incentive to attract and retain their talent. The reason this matters is anytime these massive, the largest companies, the Amazons, the Googles, anytime they make big decisions on remote work, on pay, there's a downstream effect to the market. So a lot of companies most likely increase their pay coming into this year, and this is only going to continue to help your ability to get paid more because if you don't feel like you're being fairly compensated, there's so many other organizations that will pay you more. And if you happen to possess a skill set that helps an organization be more successful, such as sales, the ability to generate revenue, or coding engineering, you can write your own ticket because it's a performance-based career and it's really important. Organizations need more people like that with that talented skills. To wrap this story up on Amazon, there are articles as well swirling that certain distribution centers are trying to unionize. 
And oftentimes pay is at the top of those conversations. So when you see an article about a corporation increasing the corporate white collar pay, perhaps that's a ploy or tactic to publicly say, okay, Amazon, if you're gonna increase the pay for these guys over here, you gotta help us out over here as well. So maybe this was leaked from someone in the union to try and help them in the public favorability of saying, well, Amazon, you're the behemoth, you have all this money. If you're increasing corporate pay, why not increase union pay as well? And it makes them look a little bad, even though you would appear on the surface, hey, they're doing a good thing. They're paying their workers more to try and attract and retain executives. If you enjoyed the video today, hit the like button below. I'd really love to hear your feedback on this new format. As someone who prides himself on putting out new videos each and every day, I don't wanna be repetitive and I still wanna appeal to the sales content since many of you are in sales, work in tech just like me. We're gonna continue making sales videos, but I like to talk about current events. It's where I wanna evolve the channel into slowly in tandem to what we have been doing. So let me know how we can make it better. Let me know what you think, and we're gonna to continue to refine and improve over time. We're starting to grow. We have our site set on 10,000 subscribers, so I can't thank you enough for the support. Connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't already. Follow me on TikTok. Comment below for the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel. We're plugging ourselves left and right. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.